The Bible says you shall know the truth. It is not knowledge that delivers you. It is the information, the correctness of the information you know. You can know a lie and it will not set you free. You are not ignorant. There is something in your mind, but the information is inaccurate. It matters that what you know is the truth. You can know an opinion. An opinion does not set free. You can know a generally accepted opinion. It is only the truth that makes free. How do you know it is the truth? By the liberating power it brings to your life. Any information that keeps you in bondage is not the truth. If it is the truth, it sustains within itself the ability to liberate you. Are we together? Jesus spake a parable to help believers. And it is called the parable of the sower. He spoke about four kinds of soils. Nothing was wrong with the sower. Nothing was wrong with the seed. Which the Bible refers to as the heart of man. Then the Bible says there were four kinds of soils that the seed was sown. On a rocky ground, by the wayside, on thorns, and then on good ground. And the Bible says the seed that falls on good ground are they that hear the word and understand it. What makes your ground good is understanding. What makes your ground barren is lack of understanding. And when Satan finds out that you do not have understanding, he comes immediately and he picks away that seed. Are we learning something tonight? Yes. So every time you come to church, don't carry a religious a religious understanding. Oh, we are just coming to sing and let's hear what happens. And let's see people fall down. No, 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 no. Come with intention. Rejoice while you are coming because you know that your notepad or your iPad or whatever device, you are going to leave writing something that makes you wiser, that makes you better. The assignment of the priest is to bring by the spirit life applicable truths not useless truths that just um, information that are uncoordinated and cannot produce exact results listen be tired of random information around your life without an ability to prove truth is only useful when you can connect it to the result it produces don't give me an ingredient I will not be needing in the meal I seek to prepare. If my assignment is to cook fried rice and you bring beautiful tubers of yam, I will keep them there. They are not relevant as far as what I intend to produce. There is the knowledge that puffs up and has no results attached to it. The Bible says that we receive with meekness the engrafted word. With meekness. A preparedness of heart. Are we together? You will be surprised at how easy it is to live a victorious life when you understand the systemic character of God. Understanding the systemic character of God is the key to living an excelling life. There is Jesus the way the methodology of the kingdom. Jesus the way. He shows you the path that moves you from point A to point B. And you see, while he's teaching you, your life may carry a semblance of defeat and failure. Don't worry about your current state. Dr. Miles Monroe defines fact as the present state of things. The truth is the way it ought to be from the eyes of God. Fact can be deceptive. The fact may be that you may not be empowered financially as at, as at the moment. The fact can be that you are still experiencing some level of ill health. That is fact, the present state of things. But hallelujah, the Bible tells us that transitions are possible in this kingdom. It says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen, for the things that are seen are temporal. Temporal means subject to change under a certain condition. Not every condition. 
a certain condition. When you create the condition that sponsors change, change will happen. And the Bible tells us the condition for change as we behold him as in a mirror. The Bible says we are changed from glory to glory into the image that we are seeing. So whilst you are seated here, you are not just listening to a man preach. You are not just exhausting the time allocated for a church service. No, in the realm of the spirit, there is an ascendance happening to you. Truly, truly. There is an intellectual ascendance. There is a spiritual ascendance. You are, you are sustaining the ability to command results. Be patient with yourself and give yourself some time. Submit yourself. That's what the word baptism is from the Greek word baptizo. Immerse yourself into a body of truth. It says meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them. And it leaves you with an assurance that your profiting will appear unto all. Nothing speaks at the beginning. It is always at the end that it speaks. So an attack on your prayer life, an attack on your, not just your word study life, an attack on your ability to listen is a real attack. You know, in a church service like this, the devil too tries to loiter around, deceiving people, distracting people. The word of God is coming from heaven to change, to build, to transform. And here comes the devil, the master of the flesh realm, distracting with a phone call, distracting with some business idea, distracting with all kinds of things, and then we are lost, and our word comes and does not find us. Jacob said, the Lord was in this place, and I knew not. It is not only when hands are stretched and miracles begin to happen, people are falling under the anointing and the Holy Spirit is moving. No, he rides on the wings of his word. That sound that enters your ears is not sound that leaves the mic alone. As it leaves, there is an engracing. Many years ago, the Lord showed me a vision. You've heard me share it. In this vision, I saw a very big like an ancient gate and then that door a door really it had smaller doors the vision zoomed to me and i saw smaller doors and the doors were opening and closing opening and closing and for every door that opened light would emanate from it and i was wondering what this vision meant and then the lord began to speak to me i saw scriptures written on every small door and I learned by the speakings of the Spirit that for every revelation, there is an energizing, there is an anointing that backs every scripture you see. When that scripture opens up, the grace to defend it also comes. So the truths you know that you cannot defend has not yet become light to you. Ever learning, the Bible says, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth ever learning this is why as ministers of the gospel we must be apt to teach God's word because when people lend us their attention for an hour two hours three hours it is evil it is sin it is wicked to just keep communicating opinions that are not life applicable it is dangerous to keep believing and then find out that what you have believed is a lie You see the reason why we pray. You see the reason why we worship. We cry unto him to show us mercy and grant grace. That the light that comes from him will enter us with the purity with which it left heaven. Unadulterated by our ignorance. The ignorance of the vessel first. Something can leave God so pure and powerful. And land upon a mind that is not transformed. And nonsense will be communicated out of it to God's people. There are secrets in this kingdom. There is nobody. Many of us have houses and you have many rooms or chambers in your house. You don't bring a stranger into your living room. Do you do that? No. A stranger may just wait somewhere outside or at best maybe in your living room. But the more the relationship keeps growing, you can trust them 
and even take them to that holy of holies the bible says the secret things of the lord are with them that fear him listen we excel in this kingdom on the strength of the secrets that we have and we hold i have shared with you and let me recap on this that when it has to do with the pursuit of god and the knowledge of god even in heaven we will continue to seek him and know him there is no exhaustion are we together now we will keep learning him and knowing him from glory to glory but as far as living a victorious life is concerned the reality of the divine life the truths that you need are finite they are not infinite if you have the idea that the truths the body of spiritual truth are located for your victory are infinite you are wrong the truths that make wonders out of believers are finite like the course content of a student as you sojourn college there is an exact course content learning does not stop but you can know that the course content that makes for medicine and surgery the course content that makes for architecture you can exhaust it and you are awarded a degree as proof that you have exhausted that body of knowledge while learning continues you can stand proud knowing that you've gone through that curriculum that's how it is spiritually you can handle these truths and know by the privilege of god's mercy and grace that when it comes to financial prosperity i have found the key when it comes to longevity i have found the key when it comes to shattering the power of darkness over my life and all around me i have found the key this is what is translated into dominion dominion it's not an impartation you've heard me say dominion is the resultant effect of your piecing together these truths so when darkness comes you have within you the spiritual arsenals to launch at darkness when failure comes you have within you the spiritual arsenal this is what maturity in the spirit is about maturity in the spirit is not measured by how frequent you have gone to church no not necessarily you can be in church for a very long time and yet you are not transformed by this truth may the lord grant us grace in the name of jesus christ may the lord grant us the capacity to maximize every moment we spend in his presence in prayer in worship and when the word comes embrace it allow the word to change you and you watch what your life becomes in the name of jesus christ